welcome back to Bear Cave Watch Reviews. I'm your host, Papa Bear. And today we're doing something a little different. As you can already tell, we're in front of the camera and I'm here with my daughter, Alexia. And we are going to be doing a special review of something inside of this pouch that I hinted at in another video. Now, before we get started, let's tell them what's on our wrist. What are you wearing today? My vintage Sigo 5 that I got from you. That's the one that I had for like an hour and she basically claimed it. I haven't even had a chance to review it yet. And I'm wearing my Croton Presidential style stainless steel. So anyway, uh, we talked about doing a video together about what's in this. Um, she has been watching me do watch reviews for a while and she said she wanted to try one. So we were very fortunate to acquire something special that has been in the family for a while. And we're gonna review that today. Um, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, so I'm just gonna open this and then we'll switch a little bit and go down and you know flip the camera and see what's in here. But in here are two watches from her grandfather that when I started on my watch collecting uh, rebirth a few years back, he decided that he was going to buy a couple. Uh, and so here, you hold this one up and I'm gonna hold this one up. So we're obviously showing you some Invicta Pro Divers. Now I'm gonna be very honest, I've looked everywhere for the model numbers. These watches are over probably 13 years old and unlike other Pro Divers that have the model number on the back, uh, these don't and I really don't feel like popping open the backs to find the model number. So we're just gonna call it Blue Face and White Face Pro Divers and we're gonna be going into detail about this. Um, she actually practiced for a while on what she was gonna say one time, but we're gonna do this together, go over the basics, let you know what we like about them, where we got them, and what we think of them, and just kinda of have a fun father-daughter conversation, okay? Okay. All right. All right, so let's start off with the basics. Now these two watches are pretty much the same. They're both pro divers, both in the two-tone execution or colorway. Uh, both with the scallop bezels. The only difference on these watches is this one has a white face, this one has the blue face. Uh, this blue is actually the uh, sunburst blue, so it's really, really pretty out in the light, and we will get you some nice pictures of that. This is a really, really clean white face. Uh, this watch has just been sitting for a while, so uh, she, well, I'll let you tell them. Tell them how you uh, found these. Well, I was at my um, grandparents' house, and I went to my grand and I was like, well, I'm starting to get a lot into watches, and he showed me these two watches, and so he was, I said, can I, can I, like, have them for a little bit so I can do a watch review on them with my dad, because he started his channel, and he didn't understand first, but then I explained it more to him, and he understood, so... So it's because of her that we actually have these two watches to review. Now, uh, these have not been sized for her wrist. However, I will put one on her so you can see. This is a 40 millimeter watch, so it is a traditional dive watch style and size. However, um, as times have changed from when these were purchased, women are starting to wear 40 millimeter size watches and above, so it's gonna look a little bit cool on her. Um, and it'll look really simple on me because it's a statistically a traditional dive watch. So um, let's go over some of these basics real quick. So you got 40 millimeter from side to side, 20 millimeter lug width. Um, this does have the Invicta branding on the side. It's actually 13 millimeters uh, thick. It does have a Cyclops, however, it doesn't really do much magnification. That's something that uh, the older Invictas did have. This is actually just mineral crystal. This isn't that flame fusion crystal that they talk about. That's how old this is. And I don't know if you could see there, there is one scratch right there. But other than that, I really like the white face and it does look very nice against the uh, two-tone bezel. Even though I'm not a huge fan of that scallop bezel, it still looks good. Um, as you can see some of the gold plating has worn off, but other than that, not too bad for a watch of that age. And the same thing with the blue one. The blue one, you can see there, not a lot of magnification, if any, on that Cyclops, but the band still looks pretty decent. A Little bit of wear right there from the desk, but overall, doesn't look that bad. Um, again, most pro divers, I'm just gonna show you, 
right here on the back, they will tell you stainless steel, water resistant, the Invicta logo, and an Invicta name, and then they'll say the model number. This one does not. Neither does the other one, but it does say uh, Japanese movement, 21 Joule, Miyota movement. So anyhow, really, really nice blue, and we're gonna pop this on her wrist just to see how it looks. So here is the watch on her wrist, and she does have a smaller wrist, but as you can tell, doesn't look too big, doesn't look too bad. Let's do a little wrist roll there if you can. Okay, it's not sized for her, but just holding it in place so you can see. And it does look really, really cool there. Oops. Now, conveniently, my father-in-law and I do have the same wrist size. So here is the white one on my eight inch wrist. And as you can tell, wears very well, not too thick. And I really, again, really like the white face on this watch. I think it really, really is a nice look. I wish Invicta would go back to making simple watches like this. Although I would love to see this one with the, the coin bezel instead of the scallop bezel. I think that would really, really look cool, so. Okay, so now, how we got the watches, what we love about the watches, what we don't love about them, etc. Now, as she said, they were lent it to us by my father-in-law, her grandfather, and um, he had them in this collection just sitting there. He wears an Apple Watch every day, so these don't get much time. Um, and thank you to Alexia for getting Grandpa to lend them to you. Uh, now, which one's your favorite? The blue face one. This one? Okay, why? Why is that one your favorite? Just It's a very nice looking watch. The colors go well together. Yeah, I, I like that. Mine is the white just because it's not a look that you see regularly, especially anymore from Invicta. Um, so he bought these, just to tell you how long it's been, he actually bought these from Shop NBC when it was Shop NBC and not Evine. So it's been a long time. And I'm sure if we looked hard enough, we could get the model numbers, but again, I don't really feel like doing that and I'm not gonna make you do that. Um, what I love about the watch is just the traditional style. I like the small size of them. Uh, like, you, like you said, I do like that blue face. I think it looks really, really nice. I like the two-tone because it goes with everything. Um, even though some people don't like to wear gold, I do. Um, it looks great on your wrist. I think if we size it, it would be really great. Um, not a lot of features. The loom could be better, not the best. It's older. Um, so it's not as bright. We'll do a shot of that later. Um, what I do like is you can go swimming with them and you don't have a problem with that. And, and I've worn my pro divers for over 15 years, no problem. Um, let's think. What I don't like is that I couldn't figure out the model number. Uh, that's really what I don't like. Um, and again, very simple. This blue face one, that you, like the one you like, you can see that blue, really nice color there. Um, that Invicta blue, as they call it. Um, but another thing I don't like is really, there's no magnification there. You, you have to really, really, really look to see the date. Um, and I don't know if you know this, Alexia, but that little bubble can be removed and you can change out the whole crystal. But again, um, I'm not gonna do that. So, um, but let's put that one there. Same thing on this one. Uh, just not a lot of visibility on that. But anyway, um, I think they, they both, are nice watches. Um, you think granddaddy's gonna give them to you as a gift? Maybe. Maybe. I know my sons uh, would probably wear them more than you. I know the boys would probably wear them more than you. Maybe, no? Oh, they both wear their G-Shocks. So who knows? A yeah. Um, but anyway, that's those two cool you watches. Read out in the natural light, even at an angle. Just a really cool watch. And not too bad for being 13 years old. So here is the Pro Diver outside and you can see that blue just really, really pops out with that sun. Really nice. There's no AR on that mineral crystal at all. All right, so there you have it. My first face reveal and video with my daughter. Thank you so much for doing this with me. And I think from now on when I have something secretive, I'm gonna put it in my very own little pouch just because I think it gives it that bit of a ooh la la. <laughs> um, anything you want to say? Actually, yeah. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe, leave a comment down below if you want to, turn on the post notifications, and share the video with a friend. Share videos with the friends. If you share the videos, then I can have more viewers, and the more viewers, then I get more watches to show off. And uh, I have a bunch of other videos coming up soon, so thank you very much. Thank you, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye.